What's up guys and welcome back and do you remember the last episode that we got on the Flash season 4 episode 15 into Flash time. So I basically want to make this video right before tomorrow before the episode 16 comes out. I did a reaction to that. Uh, did you guys like the intro I made for this? The intro was very sick was it? I know it was. Basically I didn't do nothing so I just had a theme song playing so you know. But hey still. Something I wanted to point out that I kind of noticed that every reactor did not say in their reaction. But did you guys notice the difference within the speed force? I mean, look at it. It was black. It wasn't blue. Has anyone not pointed that out? Like when Barry's time traveling or entering the speed force at will, it's blue all around him. The blacker, darker version. Did you guys even notice the water on the bottom? Yes, guys, the water on the bottom was actually there. I didn't even see that when I was watching the full episode. I actually seen it when I was watching the reaction on Electric Brick Smash, and I seen the lightning hit the water, and it made smoke appear. So basically, the, the entire Flash, you know, time was really amazing. Something I really wanted to point out. Did you guys see that Jesse was also trying to let her dad enter flash time with her i mean i mean that was gonna be amazing to see her do that but she didn't have enough speed also something else i wanted to point out the reason why jesse jay and barry all got tired so quickly is because they were doing other things besides trying to find out now jay he's an old dude all right we all know that because jay was actually a made i want to say what when in the 19 something he was actually the very first flash to ever be made within dc comics so i kind of i kind of see the entire reason of him being you know old and slow and not being as fast as he used to be i mean john wesley ship is like the oldest flash actor out there i mean he just got like a show called flash which basically made Mary like this entire grown buff dude and not even like this teenager who made messes with the speed i mean the reboot for it, you know, The Flash with Grant Gustin, they kind of did a lot more of him being a speedster who's now just getting his powers and doing more of him, you know, not knowing what to do with him, but to want to save lives and also screw with time and also other things. I mean, come on. They made him a more better Flash. Just saying. Not saying that I did not like John Wesley Ship Flash, which I basically want to say I have never seen John Wesley Ship Flash. So... Yeah, Jesse is also the second fastest speedster besides Barry and Wally. She's actually, I want to say, a little bit more up the top notch with Wally. She's either close to his speed or above. I don't really know. I just want to see them two race. So basically, with Jesse, she was she was running to go get Jay Garrick. She ran to leave Earth One, but didn't even go back to Earth Two. Just went to her father. So she got tired really quickly. And uh, I just wanted to notice: yes, they're moving super, super fast. But if they're running while they're moving that fast, it put more pressure, and it kind of makes their time a little bit more down. I mean. Yeah, Barry is the fastest Flash, finally, but we also have to say that Barry also was doing other things besides trying to figure out how to stop this nuke. I mean, yes, he was trying to figure out how to stop the nuke. That's like the entire point of the episode, Jamie. Come on. But he was also bringing in people with Flash time with him. I mean, first he brought Cisco, then he brought Henry, then he brought Caitlyn, then he brought to Iris. I mean, come on. He was using his speed, but... He just wanted to figure out a way to stop it, which I just want to say, which is not any terrible, terrible, terrible thoughts. I mean, he at least he did try to bring them in so that they could help and then he couldn't just be taking all the glory. I mean, come on. He's Barry. But he also did cipher enough speed for them to come in. I mean, when you're a speedster and you're moving that fast, you have to cipher enough speed energy just to allow another person to move at Flashpoint with you. I mean, flash time. I don't know. I keep saying flashpoint like it's it's a big deal. I mean, it kind of is in the comics, but I just keep saying that. But yes, and Jay didn't really bring anybody in. I real deal want to see Jay bring somebody in flashpoint with them. I mean, flash time. God, I want to see him bring someone in flash time with him. But because he's not really that you know young like he used to be, he even said in the show that you know I'm not gonna say the word, but he said that his legs doesn't work like they used to. And 
don't work like they want to and also, Jesse tried to bring her father in at the entirely last minute, right before Barry started hallucinating and started tiring out. I mean, the Flash writers did a very well job with Grant Gustin, you know, being tired and him sweating. That was a real deal amazing thing. I, I love to see. I, I actually like to see that. And they put more pressure on my boy Barry. I mean, they made it seem like Barry wasn't going to stop the nuke, but then he used the speed force to stop the nuke. I mean, in season four, we haven't really seen the entire Speed Force. I mean, we've seen it in season one. I We've seen it in season two when he traveled to Earth two. We've seen it in season three when he entered the fleet of Speed Force to go to the future to find out more about Savitar and. when Savitar got out the Speed Force and when they got trapped within but we didn't really see any Speed Force activity in this show actually but we did see it in episode 15 thank you that you guys allowed us to see it in episode 15 I kind of thought it was gonna go throughout the entire season without seeing it but God answered my prayers another thing I wanted to point out the black part of the Speed Force was not the original Speed Force, but it was the prison of the Speed Force. Yeah, you might be like, well, how is that the prison of the Speed Force? But, I mean, look at it. It looks like it can hold a, speeders, a speedster within the Speed Force with no, with, no, with no problems. I mean, it had lightning going around the entire Speed Force. Around the, 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 the thing that they you know made with Barry's genetic genes I mean it was like surrounded that and it was glowing as well and it was trapped there like it couldn't get moved until Barry grabbed it and ran right out another thing before I, I um before I actually stop this entire video I want I wonder can Wally enter flash time like Barry yeah you might be like well Basically, no, because Wally's not the fastest Flash anymore, but you gotta think about it. In the comics, Wally actually does become the fastest Flash. Actually, he becomes the most fastest man alive. In the comics, I mean, he has a different suit, and he has white lightning. Just like Savitar did in Season 3. So... Who's not to say that he might not become the fastest Flash right when the entire Flash season show was actually over? I mean, the show only lasts in, like, how long, and then it'll be over, and then we'll see Wally probably take the mantle. I mean, because they have to do the entire Wally taking the mantle thing. I mean, it is in the comics. Heck, Wally takes the mantle of the Flash, and Mary goes missing for, like, how freaking long? And then he comes right back, and it's, like, an entirely new comic. Like, everybody's young. Heck... Bar Bart is Kid Flash and Wally is the Flash. I mean, dude, who's not to say that they won't even do that? They might even give him his own show in the future, which we probably won't see. Another thing right before I, I exit this video out. I want them to make an entirely Robin show. You might be like, oh, why Robin? I mean, Robin's not really that big of a deal. I mean, I'd rather them make a Superboy show than like a Robin. Yeah, but Robin is the, but Robin's like the best sidekick. Plus, they have like all the Robins to use within the show. So, you know, 
It could be ACW show. I mean, I'm not saying that I want to see this. I want to see the show will kind of make it. You know what? I just want them to try to make the show. Like, you know, try to make it. I mean, they have entirely good, you know, Robin. You know, you got Dick Grayson. You got Jason Todd. You got Tim Drake. You got Damian Wayne. You got Barbara Gordon, who is basically not a... Robin, but they can still use her to be Batgirl and help out, you know, the Robins. The way that the plot could be is that Batman goes to the Justice League and they're handling like some alien problem or something like that. And Robin, Dick Grayson, or Nightwing takes, you know, over watching over Gotham, but it, he kind of noticed that he's going to either need help and so he calls up the previous Robins to help him. I mean, Damien's like already a Robin, so. He doesn't need to be called and plus Damien's just a kid so he cannot do it by himself and he's kind of cocky so he's going to need somebody watching him so you know they can use all of this. I mean Jason Todd can still be Red Hood, Robin can, I mean Dick can still be Nightwing and Tim can still be Red Robin. I mean he's Red Robin anyway so he's still Robin so you know and Damien can be you know. Robin, I mean, come on, like, this could happen right after the show, they don't, uh, after Teen Titans, they don't really have to make it right now, just, this is like, like an idea, I've been having that idea, like, I want to say I had that idea, like, ever since, ever since something, I, I can't really remember, but I came up with the idea, and I was like, hey, you know, what? now that I think about it, there's more than one Robin, so they can just do, like, an entirely show called Robin, and just show how awesome the Robins is, I mean, Dick Grayson's the most awesomest Robin, Tim and Jason are kind of like up there and Damien's up there, but I, I just, that's just what I wanted to, you know, that's just something I want to see. I'm just going to exit this entire video off. I want to exit it off with that right before I exit it off with, you know, something else. But yes, that's the reason why the time slowed down and that is the reason why... I don't really know. I just, I just guess I just wanted to show and tell you guys about that. I mean, because none of nobody noticed that and... I mean, come on. Barry started, you know, sweating and all that. Grant is a really great actor, but that's all I want to talk about for today. I uh, hope you guys like and please uh, subscribe and um, comment down below what you want me to do next. Because basically, I, I'm just going to do what you guys ask. I mean, there's no really good, there's no problem here. I mean,. There's no problem. So, yeah. Uh, peace. Middle East. Love y'all. Goodbye. And Kim Reactor is out. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.